several of the main characters as seen towards the end of the series. From left to right, Cross, Amadaba, Zero, Ruby, Geo, Ball with Jojo Maru, Mei, Yaya Maru and Kirin. The O Parts Hunter manga series, known as 666 Satan in Japan, features a cast of characters created by Seishi Kishimoto. Set in the near future, it tells the story of a teenage girl named Ruby Crescent who wants to become a treasure hunter, following in the footsteps of her father. Her objective is to find O Parts, ancient relics that can only be used by OPTS, people who are able to release their spirit and focus it into an O Part to activate a special effect, usually of a fantastic nature. She meets a mysterious boy named Geo Freed who, due to having a dark, lonely past, seeks to conquer the world. Geo is hostile to her at first but ends up traveling with Ruby as her bodyguard. Throughout the world, there are ten angels and ten demons with amazing powers, some of which are sealed within humans. They are being searched for by the Staya government and the Zenim syndicate who want to insert them within the Kabbalah and the Reverse Kabbalah, that are found on the North and South Pole respectively. A legend tells that when either Kabbalah is filled, a superweapon called the Legendary O Part will be awoken. Geofried is the 13-year-old protagonist with half-black, half-white hair, a very long red scarf and dreams of world domination. He has great battle skill, an obsession with money and is not quick to show his feelings, often hiding them or blaming other factors. Ch. 1. He meets Ruby, a young treasure hunter, and agrees to become her bodyguard. Ch. 1. Geo started his life without friends, being picked on and beaten by others. The people in his village forced him to leave after the death of his only friends, Jin, parents for which he was blamed. He was trained in the wild by a wolf named Zero for a year, and draws fangs on his cheeks in tribute to his master, before being chased away to complete his dream of world domination. Ch. 5, 6, after gaining Ruby and Ball as friends, and training under Kirin, Geo becomes more trustful of people and slowly breaks away from his dream of world domination, choosing to be more helpful and caring of others. This new outlook quickly gains more friends such as Mr. Wick and Mrs. Versal, who he sees as his father and mother, never having known his real parents, Geo is emotionally crushed when they are killed by Kajaku in cold blood. Ch. 27, his main O part is a boomerang called Zero Shiki which doubles the energy it receives. Ch. 1, he named it after his master Zero. Ch. 6, after being repaired by Kirin, it is upgraded to the three-wing new Zero Shiki, which triples the power. Ch. 21, Geo is the container of Demon No. 1 I, Satan, and seems unaware of Satan's existence, not knowing why the people in the village hated him. But during Geo's second fight with Wise Yuri, Satan informs Geo that his body, the vessel, is ready and grants him the number of the beast. Appearing on the palm of Geo's left hand and reading the number 666, it is an O part with the effect of energy absorption. Ch. 22. While the mark allows Geo to absorb and use another OPT or demon's ability. Ch. 24. It also gives more and more control of his body to Satan. During their fight on Rockbird, Satan and Geo take a fatal wound from Cross and Metatron. In order to survive, Satan absorbs Ruby's soul into Geo. Ch. 52. Ruby stays inside of Geo to protect him against Satan's control, and he is separated from his friends during the fall of Rockbird. Ch. 53. Four years later, Geo has become the leader of the Cyclopean village and his O part has again been updated, this time to New Zero Shiki R. R. Rei Shiki Aratame Aru, another boomerang type weapon that reacts to the amount of hatred in one's heart and changes shape and size accordingly. Ch. 55. Geo is discovered by Ball and rejoins his group to rescue Ruby from Staya Government HQ. Ch. 56. After reuniting with Ruby, the orphan crew then head for Zenim Syndicate HQ where Geo ultimately defeats Amaterasu Miko, who has initiated Armageddon. It is then revealed that all of the angels and demons, and Shin came from a planet called Eden, where 72 scientists tried to harness all the energy of the universe. Ch. 76. To accomplish this task, they created the two Kabbalas and Shin, which have the power to absorb energy in the form of information. Twenty scientists were in charge of categories of information and eventually evolved into the twenty angels and demons based on their category. The scientist that became Satan desired all of the energy for himself and began absorbing everything, but researchers Adam and Eve foresaw this and created a different device called Freedom. 
When he entered this program, Satan became trapped inside it, Geofreed. Ch. 76, Geo finally defeats the Satan inside him and gains control of Shin, which he warps to an uninhabited planet. Ruby Crescent is a treasure hunter who is researching the legendary O part like her father, Zekt Crescent. Ch. 1, after bumping into Geo, she hires him as her bodyguard and they begin traveling together. Ch. 1, despite being only 15, Ruby has extensive knowledge of ancient languages. Ch. 25, she smiles almost constantly, saying that after her father died, she realized that crying and running away will not solve anything. Ch. 1, she always worries about Geo and Ball, especially when they are fighting against other OPTS. Ruby shares a strong friendship with the two boys, but seems to have more intimate feelings for Geo. She carries a jade pendant necklace that her father gave her, ch. 1, which is revealed to be the S Ranko part key of Solomon with over 100 effects. ch. 11, proximity to this key of Solomon is what awakens an angel in its host. ch. 52, it is revealed that Ruby is angel no. 10, Sondalphone, who Zex stole along with the key of Solomon while leaving the Stea government. ch. 52, her soul is absorbed into Geo by Satan during Geo's fight with Cross, in order to save him from a fatal wound. Ch. 52, four years later, Geo and his friends fight their way into stay a main base, where Geo is able to free Ruby's soul and return it to her body. Ch. 61, she is now able to use her angel powers, which include the ability to shrink and grow any object, and alter their design to some degree. Ch. 62, 70, at Zenim HQ, Ruby is finally reunited with her father, who claims to have no daughter. But when Shin begins collecting all of the demons and angels, Ruby takes the attack for Zekt and he regains memory of his daughter. Ch. 74, 75, both are absorbed by Shin and inserted into the Kabbalah. But after Geo stops Armageddon, all three are seen with Cross and Zero before warping away from Earth on Shin. Ch. 76, Ball is a 13-year-old boy with dreadlocks living in the stay a government oppressed in Tatsu City with his ill parents and younger sister. A member of the city's resistance movement, he pretends to be an OPT and has a love of round things. Ch. 8. He is surprised when Kieran reveals to him that he actually is one and gives him the O part cool ball. Ch. 15. Its effect, magnetism, allows him to repel and attract the stone at high speeds. Cool Ball later gains the ability to magnetize anything it touches, metal or not. Ch. 42, like Geo, after training with Kieran Ball's reflexes, strength, and awareness were raised greatly. Ball has displayed a natural talent of handling his O part and displays amazing cunning and strategy, using his O part's magnetism effect to fool his opponents, often coming up with plans in the middle of battle. After helping save his city, he joins Geo and Ruby on their journey. Ch. 24, Ball is often the pilot of the main character's transportation vehicle, the O part called the Orphan. Ch. 28, after the four-year time skip, he wields a new O part called Tricky, which are essentially four smaller versions of Cool Ball that resemble marbles. Ch. 54, during their attack on Stea HQ, he and May end up fighting her older brother Tsubame, who afterwards, asked Ball to take care of May. Ch. 59, Years after Armageddon was stopped, Ball and May have a son and a daughter that they named Geo and Ruby. Ch. 76, Cross Bianchina is the 14-year-old, religious commander-in-chief of the Stea government's SS Ranko part airship, Shin. Ch. 4, he uses the government and Shin to frequent the front lines of battle in order to increase his odds of finding and killing Satan. Ch. 6, before the series began, Cross lived alone with his younger sister, Lily, after their parents left. One day, Geo came to their village and Satan inside Geo decides to instill loneliness, hatred and vengeance in Cross by destroying the village and Lily in front of him. Ch. Justice, Cross was recovered by the Stea government as the only survivor and found out to be an OPT, later becoming the commander of Shin and beginning his search for Satan. Ch. Justice, his O part is Justice, which consists of five rings each with their own effect. Thumb Earth, Index Electric Water, Middle Wind, Ring Finger Force Field, Pinky Bomb. Ch. 51, despite them only being C-rank, 
Cross's skill and mastery of them allows him to easily defeat enemies with higher ranked O parts. Ch. 4. Cross is revealed to be Angel No. 1. Metatron, while Lily was a clone created by the Staya government from the Key of Solomon and Angel No. 10. Sandalphone. Ch. 52. He awakens as an angel during his fight with Geo on Rockbird, thanks to the close proximity to Ruby's Key of Solomon. Ch. 52. After the four year time skip, Cross has left the Staya government and is traveling with the rest of the orphan crew helping them look for Geo. Ch. 54. Later, he reunites with Ponzu who has purposely become the demon Lilith, in order to become closer to Cross, whom she has feelings for. He is absorbed by Shin and inserted into the Kabbalah. But after Geo stops Armageddon, Cross, Geo, Ruby, Zekt and Zero are seen warping away from Earth on Shin. Ch. 76, Kieran is a white-haired, pickle-loving hermit who is easily bored and lives on the outskirts of Intatsu City. He is a licensed O-part appraiser famed for his knowledge and repair of O-parts, as well as his genius as a swordsman with his sword Shunkashudo. Ch. 11, 16, despite his genius, Kieran is not an OPT, but his abilities exceed those of most OPTS. A former stay a government officer at the same time as Amadaba and Zekt, ch. 19, he is now a hermit accompanied by his dog Yaya Maru. Gio and Ball seek him out to fix Gio's part, but in exchange they have to keep him entertained playing games, which also act as training to be OPTS. Ch. 15, Kieran meets up with Gio, Ruby, and Ball again at the Dastam Ruins, where they encounter his twin brother Kajaku, before continuing to travel as a quartet. Ch. 27, 28, after the four-year time skip, he is traveling with the rest of the orphan crew looking for Geo. Ch. 54, during their attack on Staya HQ, Kieran and Amadaba fight and kill Dafa Longinus. Ch. 58, Kieran and Kajaku are the twin sons of a Cyclopean father and an OPT mother, and the nephews of May's grandfather. Ch. 55, while Kieran is special in that his Cyclopean third eye was open when he was born, very rare, if not completely unheard of, Kajaku does not a have a third eye, but is an OPTCH. 55, at one point, Kieran attempted to stab his third eye in order to be normal and stop his jealous brother's hate toward him and his father, but the third eye cannot be destroyed. So he cut his left eye out, blinding it, and leaving him with two working eyes, his right eye and his cyclopean one. Ch. 68, inside the Zenim base Kieran fights and defeats Kajaku with the help of May. After the battle Kieran gives Kajaku their father's sword, revealing that their father had intended for him to inherit the sword the whole time. Ch. 68, Amadaba, nicknamed Seven Colored Amadaba, Ch. 22, is a skilled OPT able to use any O part. Ch. 44, she was a stay a government army officer alongside Zekt Crescent and the one who found Ruby's jade pendant. Ch. 11, Amadaba meets Ruby when they are both locked up in the dungeons of Intatsu City and helps her escape. She reappears at Rockbird investigating Olympia and Ikaros. Ch. 44, there she uses Mars O part, magic book, which materializes anything drawn in it. Ch. 53, after the four year time skip, she is traveling with the rest of the orphan crew looking for Geo. Ch. 54, during their attack on Staya HQ, she and Kieran fight and kill Dofwa. Ch. 58, her own O part is Rainbow, seven tattoos on her palms, which each have different effects, her favorite being gravity control. Ch. 57, Jin is Geo's former childhood friend who protected Geo when he was bullied by other kids. The same day that Jin told Geo they were friends, he witnessed his parents being killed by Geo in Satan form. Ch. 3, Jin became extremely hateful toward Gio and wants to kill him. After becoming an OPT for hire, he meets Gio on a mission. During their fight, Satan awakens and claims credit for the murder of Jin's parents. When Jin realizes Gio has no memory of Satan's actions, he forgives Gio and saves him from a fire Satan started, while he himself seemingly falls to his death. Ch. 3. His O part is Ashura and its effect is flame but his spirit, fueled by his hatred of Geo, turns the flames black and keep burning until an object is reduced to ashes. Ch. 3. Jin returns as a contestant in the Olympia tournament. 
He no longer hates Geo and is instead focused on saving Geo from Satan, thus the black flames of Ashura have been replaced by more powerful blue flames. Ch. 39, 40, Jin escapes Rock Bird with Futamomo Taro, and the two are still traveling together four years later. Ch. 53, 62, they accidentally end up in Zenim HQ at the same time as Geo and company. Ch. 64, Jin and Zero team up to defeat Astaroth. Zero is a lone wolf who was banished from his pack along with his father because of their powers. Ch. 5, after saving Geo in the desert, he taught the boy fighting and survival skills. Zero hates both humans and wolves, but bonds with Geo as they share similar situations of being shunned by others of their species. His bones are C rank O parts, and their effect is high speed movement, but using them causes extreme pain to Zero. After a year, Zero chased Geo away so that the boy can follow his dreams. Ch. 6. Zero finds and saves Geo after the collapse of Rock Bird and is living with him in the Cyclopean village after the four year time skip. Ch. 55. He joins the orphan crew when Geo reunites with them. Zero fights Rock and Astaroth alongside Geo and Jin where it is revealed that he is Angel No. 4, Satkiel, having inherited it from his father. Ch. 71, his special ability allows his body doubles to take the place of someone else and save them from an attack. The sacrificial wolf will die in their place, but the person will still feel the pain of the attack. Ch. 71, he is absorbed by Shin and inserted into the Kabbalah. But after Geo stops Armageddon, Zero, Geo, Ruby, Cross and Zect are seen warping away from Earth on Shin. Ch. 76, May is a young female member of the Cyclopeans and granddaughter of the village chief. She met Geo during the four-year time skip when he was nursed back to health by her village, and has developed a huge crush on him. Ch. 55, after sneaking on board to be with Geo, she joins the orphan crew. Ch. 56, during their attack on Stea HQ, she and Bull end up fighting her older brother Tsubame. During the fight, May unlocks the power of her third eye and with Ball's help is able to defeat her brother. Ch. 59, she realizes that she used Geo as a replacement for losing her brother, and now shows affection for Ball. Ch. 61, 64, inside the Zenim base she, Kirin, and Jajamaru fight against Kajaku. It is with help from her third eye, that Kieran is able to deliver the final blow. Ch. 68, years after Armageddon was stopped, Ball and May have a son and a daughter that they named Geo and Ruby. Ch. 76, Futamomo Taro is a fat man that enters the Olympia tournament. Although he fails the preliminary round, due to an error he stays on Rock Bird and later escapes with Jin. Ch. 33, 53, his O part is the Sardine Sword, Mamakari no Ken, which paralyzes the people it cuts with its stench and was the idea of Papua of the South Seas and Jibaku kun author M. Ishibata. Ch. 31, 34, he also uses the dog, monkey and pheasant millet dumplings, which give him an animal trait depending on the one he eats, keen sense of smell from the dog dumpling, wings from the pheasant one. Ch. 34, four years after Rock Bird, Futumomo Taro and Jin are still traveling together and accidentally end up in Zenim HQ at the same time as Geo and company. Ch. 64, after accidentally saving her, Futumomo Taro becomes the master of Spica. Ch. 70, Futumomo Taro is based on the folktale hero Momotaro. Yaya Maru is the small, round, shoe-wearing pet dog of Kirin. He is an OPT whose O part, a wolf bone, gives him high-speed movement. Ch. 14, he is also able to drive the orphan. After the four-year time skip, he has grown into an enormous saber-toothed tiger-like animal and has a son, Jojo Maru. Ch. 56, Jojo Maru is Yaya Maru's son, who looks exactly like his dad did. Ch. 56, he is also an OPT and able to fly the orphan. He's always been seen on or near ball and has taken his father's place as the comical relief, being a living Afropuff, yet also being helpful in a battle such as being the one to show Ball the way to defeat Franken. Ch. 68, Amaterasu Miko, nicknamed the Phantom, is the leader of the Steya government. Ch. 30, she desires to destroy the material world and create a new, conflictless world where the consciousness of all are united as one. 
ch. 60, she is immortal, having transferred her mind to the O part ship Shin, with her body being a machine. ch. 60, 61, during the attack on Steya HQ, Miku acquires Geo's half of the legendary O part, and then uses Shin to take over the body of Balsa to form a group composed of those on board, including Ponzu. ch. 62, 73, attaching some of her psyche to Ponzu, she takes over the body of Baku and steals the second half of the legendary O part. Upon joining the two halves of the legendary O part, the Kabbalah and reverse Kabbalah merge to form the true core of Shin. Ch. 74, she proceeds to absorb all of the angels and demons sans Geo slash Satan and starts to absorb all life on the planet, aiming to achieve her goal of unifying all consciousness. However, while attempting to absorb Geo, Miko's main spiritual body is destroyed by Geo Zero Shiki R. Ch. 75, Dafwa Longinus is a blind man and the Steya government's chief of staff. Ch. 30, nicknamed Cross Scarred Dafwa, after the shape of the scar covering his eyes, he is the former commander of the attack force. Ch. 57, his O part is Red Spear, a spear able to thrust faster than the speed of sound, creating a sonic boom, and which controls light. Dafwa is sent by Miko to stop Geo and friends from advancing into their base, but is killed by Kirin with Amadaba's help. Ch. 58, Mishima Kagahiza is a lieutenant general in the Steya government army and their chief strategic officer of the Northern Hemisphere. Ch. 28, he is in charge of their operations at the North Pole, which mainly consists of research surrounding the Kabbalah and the angels, and is privy to information about them that even Dafwa is not. Ch. 37, he claims the Steya government's goal is to unite the world as one, but must do so using force led by OPTS. Ch. 25, Mishima is a cyborg with mechanical body parts, including a positron gun O part in his left arm. Ch. 61, he becomes disillusioned with Miko's plan, and helps Geo and company free Ruby's body from her containment chamber. Ch. 61, Hanzu is a legendary hacker, nicknamed Invisible, whose skills the Steya government values enough to cut a deal with and house the wanted criminal in secret. Ch. 30, she wears a skimpy outfit with a built-in computer, a hat with cat ears and a tail that acts as a local area network cable. Ch. 30, Cross seeks her out for detailed information on Satan and she accompanies him back to Shin to answer his questions. Post-time Skip finds Ponzu still on the Shin under the command of Miko, with Demon No. 9i, Lilith implanted into her body. Ch. 64, Lilith has the ability to cause others to go berserk when they look into her eyes and can cause molecular instability, preventing even angels from regenerating. Ch. 70, the core of Lilith is pulled out of Ponzu by Cross during her fight with him and Ruby, and it is revealed that she purposely became the demon in order to become as close to Cross as possible. Ch. 70, she then joins up with him and becomes one of the crew of the orphan before being absorbed into Shin and inserted into the Kabbalah with all the other demons and angels. Ch. 75, Michael is the narcissistic no. Six angel who works for the Steya government and is obsessed with beauty. A clone of Michael created by Mishima is sent to Olympia to capture any other angels and kill any demons. Ch. 37, although he defeats his opponent in the fourth match, Ch. 39, the clone is later destroyed by Kajaku. Ch. 47, four years later, the real Michael is sent to stop Geo and company from advancing into Steya HQ, and ends up fighting Geo and Cross simultaneously. Ch. 58, in his true form, an enormous sphere, anything he touches is purified to its natural base elements. Ch. 59, Michael is destroyed by Cross, with its remains returning to the Kabbalah. Ch. 60. Subame is May's older brother, and the former leader of the Cyclopean village. He is sent to stop Geo and company from advancing into Stay HQ, and ends up fighting his sister in Ball. Three years earlier, he fell off a cliff while fighting against Zenim operatives alongside Geo and was taken for dead. He was rescued by Mishima, ch. 59, who helped him open his Cyclopean third eye and used him in experiments crossing different races in order to create an enhanced OPT ch. 56, Subame's third eye allows him to program any object he sees for a few seconds, excluding humans. Ch. 58, 
The experiment seemed to have driven him mad enough to attack his own sister. May's newly opened third eye and their shared gesture help him remember who he is and close his third eye. He apologizes to his sister and asks Paul to take care of her, before crumbling into dust. Ch. 59, Balsa is the vice commander of the airship Shin, under Cross. Ch. 4, although he acts respectful, he evidently despises Cross and thinks he would be better suited to command Shin. During the Rockbird arc, he even fires Shin's soul-absorbing laser at the city, not caring whether or not Cross will survive. After Cross defected from Stay a Post time skip, Balsa took his place as commander of Shin and declared it an independent state called Zapan. Ch. 61. After Miko abandons Stea, she takes over Balsa's body and uses it to still maintain control of those on board Shin without revealing her nature as Shin itself. Ch. 62. Zekt Crescent, also known as Zenim, is the leader of the Zenim Syndicate. He is the former captain of the Stea government's first attack squad, where he was nicknamed the Red Wind. Ch. 52. Zekt betrayed the Stea government, stealing Ruby and the Key of Solomon. Ch. 52, and became a treasure hunter to track down the legendary Opart. He created the Zenim Syndicate in order to bring down the Stea government. Ch. 54, after the four-year time skip, he is shown to have one half of the legendary Opart. Zekt has both Demon No. 5i, Asmodeus, and Demon No. 6i, Baal Peor, within him. Ch. 73, Using the demon's powers, he created the O parts used by his Zenim subordinates and can therefore use all of their effects. Zek can also combine the powers of both demons for attacks. It is revealed that Zek had a wife and daughter who were killed in an O part war, which sent him out to change the world. Ch. 75, he placed Baal Peor inside himself in order to steal Sandalphone from Stea and named her Ruby after his daughter. But fearing the demon in him would hurt his angel daughter, Zek left Ruby. Ch. 75, he is absorbed by Shin and inserted into the reverse Kabbalah. But after Geo stops Armageddon, Zekt, Geo, Ruby, Cross and Zero are seen warping away from Earth on Shin. Ch. 76, Kajaku is one of the big four of the Zenim Syndicate and the twin brother of Kirin. Ch. 27, in charge of the reverse Kabbalah project at the South Pole, he is searching for the demons and his wise Yuri and Shuri's superior. Baku says that Kajaku wants to brush aside the other members of the Big Four and become leader of Zenim. Ch. 34, he goes to Rockbird to capture Lucifuge and kill Shuri, who failed at the task. Ch. 43, Kajaku is Demon No. 8i, Padramelek, with the greatest disintegration abilities amongst the demons, that affect anything within range of its flashes of light. Ch. 51, it also has the ability to reconstruct and can move through physical matter. Kajaku is an OPT but is never seen using an O part, as he usually relies on his demon powers instead. He and his brother were trained to be swordsmen by their father, but Kajaku could never win against Kirin due to his brother having the Cyclopean third eye while he does not, leading to intense jealousy. Ch. 67, one day he found an orb containing Adramelech and the demon took over his right arm, giving him raw power. Although he was now able to beat Kirin, their father scolds Kajaku for his new disregard of technique, leading to Kajaku killing his father. Ch. 67, after the four-year time skip, Kajaku fights Kirin and Mei and activates his full demon form. Thanks to Mei's help, Kirin is able to cut Adramelek to pieces, separating it from Kajaku. Ch. 68, Kirin then gives Kajaku their father's sword, explaining that it was always intended to belong to him, the superior swordsman, this being why their father pushed Kajaku so hard. After seeing his name carved on the sword, Kajaku sheds tears realizing that his father was not ignoring him. Ch. 68, later as the non-angel and demon members of the orphan crew are being absorbed by Miko and Shin, Kajaku uses the sword to perform the ultimate technique their father taught them to save them, before dying on his feet smiling. Ch. 75, Rock is one of the big four of the Zenim Syndicate. He distrusts Kajaku and is aware of Kajaku's ambition to take control of Zenim. He is Angel No. 5, Samael, and as a result has the ability to remove collected demons from the reverse Kabbalah. Ch. 66, Rock was formerly in the Stea government, but after learning that what he believed to have been a mission to suppress an uprising, 
was actually simply to acquire an O part and eliminate anyone who knew about it, he left them. Not before taking this O part, which turned out to be Samel, who took over his right eye. Ch. 72, in normal combat he dual wields two pistols with the effect Kerberos, which simply greatly enhances their firepower. He also carries the O part 12 watchers, Puerapu Watcha, on his back, which are 12 pyramid-shaped pieces he controls that each emit laser beams and can intensify their power when combined into certain formations. He fights Geo, Jin and Zero alongside Demon No. 4i, Astaroth, who can temporarily turn things into others, such as water into fire. Ch. 71, in Samel's true form, he can read minds and tell how much power someone has left. Rock is defeated when Geo tricks him using his own ability and takes the core of Samel out of him. Ch. 72, Spika is one of the big four of the Zenim Syndicate. She is quiet and very polite and acts like a maid, greeting even enemies as masters and ladies and claiming she will serve them until death. Ch. 69, she holds the ring O part fairing, which is worn around her neck like a necklace, to her mouth and her personality changes completely as she angrily yells at them. The ring takes any words or sounds spoken into it and materializes large letters spelling out the words or sounds. These letters take on the characteristics of the word, such as thorns creating thorny letters and hot tea creating letters in hot liquid. Ch. 69. During her fight with Ruby she is caught between two halves of a rock, but is accidentally saved by Futamomo Taro. Because he is the only person to ever become her master without her having to ask, Spika vows to serve him until death and betray Zenim. Ch. 70. Frankenschritz is one of the big four of the Zenim Syndicate, and looks like a beetle-esque robot with a large mask-like head. Franken is used by Zenim to hold, transport and inject the demons into the reverse Kabbalah. It is revealed that the robot body is made up of O parts and the human brain inside is the OPT controlling it. Franken was a terminally ill child until his father, Professor Brownie Schritz, artificially turned him into an OPT CH. 69. Franken is able to spin very rapidly, destroying objects, and shoot masks out of his mouth that fit onto people's faces and take control of their body. He also keeps a number of masks that allow him to change effects when worn, such as fire and ice. Ch. 69. After he is defeated by Ball, Professor Brownie kills Franken's brain, explaining that it had already reached its limit before killing himself too. Ch. 69. Baku is a high-ranking member of the Zenim Syndicate and Zek's most loyal subordinate. Ch. 27. Baku seems to know a great deal about the nature of the Kabbalah. He states that Zenim's goal is to bring chaos and destruction to the corrupt world using the reverse Kabbalah. Ch. 26. His O part is the mask of Mahima which grants him telepathy and, when used with the two other masks possessed by his son Mu and daughter Lem, teleportation. Ch. 11, 26, during Geo's battle with Zekt Crescent, Baku is possessed by Miko in order to steal the other half of the legendary O part. Ch. 74, Shuri is a high-ranking member of the Zenim Syndicate and aide to Kajaku. Ch. 27, as a child he watched his parents be murdered by Steya government soldiers during a war and was recruited by Zekt into Zenim to overthrow the government and get his revenge. Ch. 40, 41, his O part is Wraith, sharpened chains he can control with frost effects, that were found at the scene of his parents' death. Ch. 40, he used to believe that only material things exist, and that things such as feelings and heart were not real, and he froze his parents' bodies in ice as proof of their existence. Shuri enters the Olympia tournament on orders from Kajaku to confirm slash learn the identities of any demons there. Ch. 34, he faces Jin in the fifth match, which he loses because his O part is broken. Ch. 41, but during the match, Shuri sees the error of his ways and with Kajaku trying to kill him, Shuri leaves Zenim. After the four-year time skip, his O part has been repaired and he helps Kite save Yuria from Zenim. Ch. 62, 66, Wise Yuri, nicknamed the Crimson Magician, is a low-ranking official of the Zenim Syndicate. Ch. 27, he is paid by Intatsu City's governor to terrorize the city and flee when the Steya government arrives in order to make the people trust them. Ch. 8. However, he is actually waiting for the excavation of the S rank O part Mexis, to use the governor as energy. Ch. 19. Wise has a tendency to kill people without hesitation, 
even fellow members of Zenim Syndicate, and gets a piercing on his tongue for every person he kills. Ch. 9. His O part is two rings called brother, they each have individual effects that work in tandem, handling and transportation of matter. Ch. 9. He can put his hand through one ring and have it come out of the other. He uses it to break Geo Zero Shiki in their first encounter, forcing the boy to flee. Ch. 10. After Mexus is excavated, Wise uses it to fight Geo, but is defeated and then absorbed by Mexus. Ch. 24. Yuzeshi is a troop captain of the Zenim Syndicate. Ch. 27. He is one of the agents who attacks citizens of Intatsu City while Mexus is destroying the city. He kills another Zenim member in order to fight Ball, in the latter's first fight after becoming an OPTCH. 18. Ball struggles at first, until he exploits Muzeshi's severe acrophobia. Muzeshi always bends down and walks on all fours because he thinks the distance between him and the ground is too far when he stands up. Ch. 18. His O part is hang and tooth hang claws on all four limbs and fangs which alter physical matter, they can extend and retract in size, as well as change direction. Yuria is a short teenage girl who wears a cape and enters the Olympia with Kite in hopes that the prize, the legendary O part, can cure her. Although she fails the preliminary round, she is brought back in order to have 10 contestants in the actual tournament. Ch. 33. Yuria tries to avoid using her O part at all costs because it is actually demon no. 3i, Lucifuge, and she cannot control it. Ch. 38. Nine years earlier, she followed Kite and his father into some ruins and touched Lucifuge, which took over her left arm before disappearing the ruins and Kite's father. Ch. 38. Lucifuge can travel to another dimension and reject anything to that dimension as well. Ch. 38. In her fight with Python Jack, she is forced to unleash Lucifuge to win and a demon is about to rampage the arena until Yuria's love of Kite subdues it. Ch. 38. Later, with Kite's life threatened by Kajaku, Yuria willingly surrenders to Kajaku and is put into the reverse Kavala. Ch. 48. Four years later, Kite's love for Yuria chases the newly freed Lucifuge out of her, and the two are reunited while Lucifuge is again absorbed by the reverse Kavala. Ch. 66. Kite is a young man who enters the Olympia with Yuria to find a way to cure her. He fights Ball in the second match, and although both are knocked unconscious, Kite loses because his O part is destroyed. Ch. 36. His first O part is the giant's knife, a huge knife the weight of which Kite can alter from grams to tons. Ch. 36. During the four-year time skip, Kite teams up with Shuri and the two plan to rescue Yuria and destroy Zenim. Ch. 62. He now uses heavy metal, a glove that becomes a suit of armor, the weight of which he can change at will. At the South Pole, Kite allows Lucifuge to send him to the other dimension, but his love for Yuria breaks him out of it and chases the demon out of her, reuniting the two. Ch. 66. Anna is a beautiful woman with large breasts who enters the Olympia. She tries to win at any cost in order to reunite with Mars, the man she loved and who won the Olympia tournament four years prior but never returned. Ch. 35. Anna actually defeats Geo during the preliminary round, but he is brought back in order to have 10 contestants in the actual tournament. Ch. 33. The two fight again in the first match of the tournament where she loses, but Geo promises to win and find out what happened to Mars. Ch. 35. Her O part is the cloth Tenyo, which can harden into various objects, such as a spear or shield. Ch. 35. Python Jack is a man wrapped in bandages like a mummy who enters the Olympia. He fights using Varia, a living opart that possesses high-speed movement and acid attacks, but occasionally tries to kill its user. Ch. 37. Python is a serial killer who murders anyone he meets just for fun, but he was not always like this. Previously he was a regular OPT called on by his village to move the newly unearthed Varia, but was deformed by its acid. The rest of the village turned on him treating him like a monster, so he decided to become a real monster. Ch. 37. He fights Yuria in the third match and is about to win, forcing Yuria to unleash Lucifuge. Python is eaten and sent to another dimension by the demon. Ch. 38. Ikaros is the leader of the floating city rock bird, which is an O part. Every four years he holds the Olympia tournament where OPTS from the surface are brought to compete. Ch. 31. Although he secretly uses the winning OPT as a battery to power the flying city, ch. 
44, Amadaba suggests that Ikaros is afraid of OPTS and uses them to learn about the legendary O part. Ch. 46, Ikaros is demon no. 2i, Beelzebub. His body is made of maggots, which allows him to regenerate limbs, and if touched, they will devour the other person from the inside out. Ch. 47, Ikaros kidnaps Ruby in order to make Geo give in completely to Satan, in hopes of using Satan as his own weapon. Ch. 43, 44, Beelzebub's actual body is the gigantic underlying structure for Rock Bird. Ch. 49, Geo absorbs spirit from all the remaining OPTS on Rock Bird for a final attack to destroy Ikaros, causing the city to crumble. But Frankenschritz, Rock and Spica take what remains of Beelzebub's head and insert it into the reverse Kabbalah. Ch. 51, the Cyclopeans are humanoids, and the original inhabitants of the planet. Unlike Cyclops in ancient Greek mythology, Cyclopeans have two normal eyes, and a mark on their forehead. The mark will only open into a third eye for a few Cyclopeans and grants them incredible abilities. Ch. 55, normal humans are descendants of space travelers called Noah, that used the Kabbalah to destroy the Cyclopeans. Ch. 55, the small number of surviving Cyclopeans have stayed hidden in their village ever since, and held onto one half of the legendary O part. Ch. 55, due to the Zenim syndicate closing in on them, the village chief entrusts this half to Geo, who has become their village leader. Ch. 55, entire series individual volumes. Thanks for watching.